how to delete my Google activity. I'm creating an updated tutorial for rank your followers who do not speak English well. When you are logged into your Google account, you can quickly and easily change the language settings for Google Chrome, like so. I'll zoom in so that you see. Let's say French. This page will turn into French. Let's say Spanish. ES is the country language code. Now you can view it in Spanish. There are many different languages that Google supports. So let's go and see the activity controls available in 2025. When you're logged into your Google account, on the left hand side you have data and privacy settings. Here you can press on my activity, select delete, select the time range. In this example I've selected everything, it's in all time ranges. Depending on how you're using Google, you may see different products selected here. But let's imagine you want to keep some of them. Then you can uncheck the box here. So if you want to delete certain activity or all, Google gives you that option. Then let's press next. Then simply press delete. Now what happened when we've done that? Google account will go ahead and delete the activity you've selected. But here's how Google accounts work. You have other activity controls here. On the left hand side, when you press other activity, you may see different things for your Google account. Previously, we've deleted web and app activity. But let's imagine you're using Gemini app. Then you have different activity for that. If you want to delete those, then you need to look at other activity and clear them accordingly. Also, do keep in mind that Google actually provides you additional activity controls. Let's press on activity controls. Here I can turn on or off or delete activity from here, as in set it in such way that it perhaps automatically deletes it. As we can see, there's different settings here. Let's say I want to turn that off. You can read through it. Then Google won't actually keep this activity. Okay, so these are the controls that you have. Okay, I won't delete it because I'm creating this tutorial. But let's say I want to delete, as an automatically delete every three months, then I can select that and don't need to worry about deleting my activity because it will be automatically deleted according to my choices, as in your choices. Okay, so these are the controls that you have. Let's press on manage all web activity. As we can see, I have auto delete on which may be ideal for you as well. Okay, I want to turn that on. Let's turn it on. Okay, that's on now. That means my activity on Google products will now be saved in this scenario. So simply explore these according to your language. Let's say French. Just put FR and read through these additional settings, such as other activity or control activity. Okay. Before I close up, since Google Chrome is popular, you have settings for privacy and security for Google Chrome here. Simply find settings and here you can delete browsing data. 
word of advice is if your Google account is synced between devices, then what you delete here in Google Chrome won't be deleted on the other devices that you have, okay? You can sign in or sign out and control your activity accordingly. And finally, let me share a quick and easy tip. When you use Google Chrome, it shows you automatic suggestions. But let's imagine you want to delete some of these suggestions. Let's say A. As you can see, I searched for Adobe Firefly and it says Google search. Then it gives me an option to remove that suggestion. So that's a Google Chrome quick and easy way to control, you know, what shows up here in terms of suggestions. So this is how you control the privacy for your web activity in your Google account. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.